I'm Matt Beagle with your Stratomatic Strategy of the Month. This is part of a series of the Stratomatic online baseball game, and we're going to talk about pitching strategies, how to set up effective pitching rotations in the Stratomatic online game. Remember that the online game has a salary cap, so you just can't pick the best pitchers and outdo everyone else in your league. You have to do it within the salary cap. And obviously one of the things you want to determine is how much money do I want to spend on pitching? The average game has an $80 million salary cap, and most teams spend between $30 and $40 million of that uh, on pitching because pitching can control the game uh, to have a great staff. So a lot of teams will overspend. Some teams will spend as low as 10 or 15 and try to outscore you. Uh, each manager is different. The two basic things you have to figure out is, number one, what type of rotation are you going to use, the four-man or five-man rotation? A four-man rotation is better in that you have one less roster spot used, so therefore you can save money. You're spending more money per pitcher, but you can just rotate those four guys throughout the entire season. They get more starts, and therefore Stratomatic puts a premium on those pitchers, and you're paying more per out because you're saving that roster spot. So the most popular method is probably to do a four-man rotation. On your roster sheet, there'll be an asterisk next to the tiring factor to show you the pitcher can go every fourth game. This also is a great advantage in the playoffs because if you have a four-man rotation, four out of every five playoff games in the first series and then five out of the seven World Series games will have your top two pitchers in there. The other way is to do a five-man rotation because – so many people are going for a four-man, and there's a discount if you do a five-man rotation. You can sometimes get better cards, use five pitchers instead of four. Uh, you lose a roster spot, but sometimes people will get a National League pitcher who maybe is a good hitter or has a good bunning rating or a, a fast running rating, and they can use them for another purpose, such as a pinch runner uh, or a sacrifice pinch hitter. So sometimes people will use a five-man pitcher and get pitchers that have other roles they can fill on the team. Even if you don't, again, you get more outs per dollar because there's not that premium that the Stratomatic places on a four-day starter. Another way you can do it is to do two four-day starters for the top of your rotation that are expensive and then fill in behind it with some less expensive, three of them, five-man rotation starter, five-day rotation starters. And that way your top two pitchers get the maximum number of starts both in the regular season and the playoffs. And then your next three guys just get you through. They're not going to have as many starts. They're not going to be as important to your team, but you saved a lot of money. Maybe you can get a better card again for the dollar. So those are all different ways. A lot of times the five-man rotation, people will just try to get five equal guys instead of trying to get an ace. Lots of different ways you can work it. But the key thing is to understand there is a premium for the four-man uh, rotation, the four-game starter. The other thing when you're looking at pitchers to understand is that relief pitchers are cheaper per out than the starting pitchers. There's a lot more relievers with incredible cards than there are for starters. So some teams, and I like to do this, spend more on relief pitchers and less on starters because relievers are going to be pitching at the end of the game when it's more important when the game is on the line, and you can get a lot more out of your relief pitchers. You might be able to get five innings easily out of some relief pitchers and do some matchups. Um, getting some really low cards doesn't – cost you as much when you're doing relievers as opposed to starters. So you can get great cards um, in each set. Craig Kimbrell is going to be very expensive, but not as expensive as if that was a starter card. So you can spend more on your relievers and try to control the game that way. The other thing you want to look for are really inexpensive pitchers that are still usable. Maybe a one-sided lefty that only gets lefties out. Left-handed relief pitchers tend to be a little less expensive in the online game historically. Or you could find a starter reliever, having one of those who's usable, that can be sort of your swing man in case one of your starting pitchers gets hurt or gets knocked out early. You have a long man to bring in. Um, that's another way to do it. Another strategy is to have all lefties or all righties and then build your ballpark um, around that starting staff. With their Stratomatic Strategy of the Month, I'm Matt Beagle.